So today we're looking at tuning uh, to the, the new Echo 2511. This one's not running too well. And the first stage is, is to tighten up both the high and the low settings right back to zero. So I'm just going to turn that around until I feel, you feel just a bit of resistance. And there, I'm just there. And then let's go on to the low setting. So turn that, tighten that up all the way until we feel just that resistance, which is just there. So that's the stage next stage one. is to warm up the chainsaw. And how you do this is, as prescribed by Echo, is five seconds on the throttle, five seconds off for a total of 100 seconds. So we'll do that now. So that's the warm so up. The, right, now we're looking to find the leanest position. And the way we do this is we want to find where the revs are highest and then just come out, come out of that clockwise a fraction. We've got a uh, tachometer for doing this and then that tells us exactly where the, where the revs are at. So we'll start her up. I think we got up to just over 3,900 RPM and then it went started going down to 3,860 so that's the leanest position. So now we're going to set the RPM on uh, the throttle speed on idle which uh, according to the chart for the saw uh, if we work along there is 4,000 RPM. So we'll start up again. back to the low needle and according to the chart we're gonna come anti-clockwise to get take the revs down to 3200 
So you can see we've got them to 3,200. You can come within 50. That's the idea, the uh, tolerance is within 50. So the final stage now is setting the RPM on the high mixture. Now the optimal range uh, for this is um, 12,200 to 13,100. Um, probably a very new saw will be at the lower end and a more run-in saw will be the higher end. still quite a very new saw so unlikely to get it perfect until it's had a good few tanks run through it but now it's responding quickly and we know that all the uh, all the different settings on the high and low jets and idle are correct <laughs> 